Okay, I'm just starting YouTube translate um, broadcast. and hitting a recording. Hello, 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 everyone. I'm Dasha Jemison with Red Rock Pastel Society of Nevada. And uh, thank you so much for spending your Saturday with us. Uh, we are gonna go on a virtual journey to Venice, Italy. And, you know, I was uh, trying to be funny when I sent this invitation and got reply from one of our members, Johnny Forge, like, oh my gosh, I will be in Venice. I'm actually flying on 28th and I will be there on 29th. So I guess I, I read the universe and uh, somebody will be actually standing there from the Red Rock Pastel Society on St. Marcus Square. I thought it's a neat coincidence, but uh, we're all going to go on a virtual journey. And as always, I have a little member presentation for our meeting. A lot of happening as always. And please allow me to share it with you. I'll be short and sweet. This is our April member meeting, and um, we will have our uh, next meeting in May. I will let you know. Today, uh, we're going to talk to our members. Also, we'll talk about our upcoming shows, and we'll watch demo by our special yeah, guest, yeah. Vladislav Tatarinov. Let me introduce him um, really quick, and I will do it not in a traditional way. I'm not, uh, not going to share his biography or anything. We are all visuals, so let me show you his art, and it will speak for himself. So I will try to be super high tech here, and I will try to broadcast his Instagram, because when I like I always like his pictures, photos, videos. It's excellent. But when you just go on a page of somebody and look, it's amazing. So let me try that. This is Vlad's page. So many wonderful landscapes. We can't see it. We can't see it. You can't? That's interesting. No. Okay, let me, thank you for letting me know. Let me, uh, let me try another way. Technology. I guess because I'm sharing presentation already, I cannot share that, but um, let me do this way. Can you see it now? Um, yes. Yes. Awesome. A little bit. A little bit. Technology. We see one. <laughs> Thank you, Albert. 
I guess I'm slightly nervous because I have another very special guest today uh, on a Zoom call, and it's Albert Handel. But uh, back to Vlad, I was saying he's uh, notorious for his landscapes. Can you see it now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yes. So, so just uh, check out for yourself uh, his Instagram. It will be in your upper right corner, uh, Tatarin of Vladislav. His studio and uh, award-winning painting from IAPS, what got him gold award in a master circle division. So Vlad works in oil and pastel and both medium complement each other. Let me spotlight Vlad. Vlad, please say hello. How are you doing uh, today? Hello, dear friends. Uh, hello. Nice to meet you and welcome to my studio. Uh, yeah. Vlad will, Vlad will be um, painting Venice scene today, and he will be using um, pastel matte paper, anthracite color, uh, fifteen and a half by twelve. So, if you guys uh, brave enough to try and paint alone, uh, you can prepare your surface, and we will uh, continue our presentation in a second. Okay, so you, if you guys want to prepare you have a chance to do so. So this is uh, Vlad's award-winning piece from IAPS. And I decided to show his other entries, what got noted by various judges and jurors and you can see what a variety of uh, subjects get attention and uh, show true mastery. This is our scene for today. And this is our reference. Yes, you guys, right? Uh, we will be using oil painting by Vlad as a reference. And I would like to invite you to our workshop with Albert Handel actually in Las Vegas in person in October. And I have Albert here. So I will give him a word next. Albert, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing fine. This is fun. I'm here with Linda. And I'm looking forward to <clears throat> our workshop, our three-day workshop uh, in Pastel in October. Um, I'd like to give everybody a little hint about something. May I? Please. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, presuming everybody is a pastelist and maybe also an oil painter. When you're working with oils and you have a color and you want it lighter, you put some white in. If you're working with oils and you want to color it darker, well, you put some black in. And you can't do that with pastel, but you can do something with pastel that a lot of pastelists are not aware of. By varying the pressure of the application of the pastel, you have more than one color. That's right, more than one color, you have two or three. If you take white and hit it hard, uh, you have white. But if you take white and uh, reduce the pressure, the white gets actually weaker and darker. And the same thing is true with black. When you hit black hard, like the people normally do, you got black. But if you want something a little lighter, you just lighten up on the black and dark colors get lighter. So you have more than one color in each pastel if you just vary the pressure. And I show that in detail. 
plus I'll be demonstrating my favorite mediums, the subject, trees and rocks, water and waterfalls. So uh, I hope you all join us. I'll be there with Linda, my lady, and um, looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you, Albert. Looking forward to seeing you in Las Vegas and uh, some of you guys finally to see you in person. Uh, Thank you, Albert. Soon enough, before you know soon it. Soon enough. Yeah. Yes, and you can register on our website. Uh, early bird offer is valid till May 5th, so you guys have time and there is option to secure your early bird uh, offer with a $200 deposit. So just, uh, I'm gonna put the link in the chat and you'll be able uh, to go there. Thank you so much. And just a reminder, it's October 2nd through 4th, and it will be in conjunction with our orange show what's coming up in Las Vegas. Three wonderful days with Albert. Um, next subject, what I was going to highlight is um, IAPS Globe. And Red Rock had nice recognition in the latest issue of the globe. And uh, we are always uh, proud to be a member of this international family of pastel societies. Um, in this um, issue, I got an honor to report on our educational grant project, what was complete in 2021 uh, in uh, Penza Russia in collaboration with National Pastel Society of Russia. And um, it was an amazing experience. And uh, Vlad was actually part of this project. And uh, here's a photo of him. Uh, he did his pastel demo for students of Penza Art College. And um, their students uh, who attended it from the city, uh, students um, who traveled across the country to see him paint live, and also art educators from art college and local art schools who came and attended them. And it was just one of the amazing events of what took place there. And uh, we are thankful to IEPSA and Anne Sturz family for introducing um, grant educational grant project and if they are presidents or uh, other members of Pastel Society, we will encourage you to apply for this grant and uh, introduce your educational projects. Thank you so much. I absent answers and Vlad and of course everyone who worked hard on this project and made it reality. Without volunteers, we wouldn't be able to do so as always. And um, I will take a minute of your time and um, ask you to remember our member and uh, life classic, Anatoly Petrovich Afanasyev, uh, who helped us to open the doors of the museum and uh, made this project possible on a local level. Um, pastel painter, amazing art educator, Red Rock member. Um, he passed away um, on April 26, and uh, he was almost 94 years old. Uh, he worked in his studio uh, almost till his last days and uh, always was an inspiration and just... Um, amazing person and I was truly blessed to meet him in person so I will take a few seconds of silence just to remember him and it's very great memories. Now say something. Uh, I'd like to show 
two of my demonstrations that I just did um, that I will be doing in uh, my workshop. Thank you, guys. Um, hi, Albert, I'm hearing you would like to show something? Yes. Yeah. OK. That's a, a demonstration I did last month of a tree. And I'm going to show you one of uh, rocks and water in a moment. In my opinion, um, one image is worth a thousand words. And I want to show you just one more. Hang in there. Yeah. <clears throat> so if um, people like these works, they'll be able to see uh, demonstrations of these two subjects. They'll be very different, but these are the two subjects. Um, okay, this is an ad for my workshop for three days with you in October. And there's one more thing I want to throw in. I have a color theory that adds a beautiful color. And that is different colors of a similar value. And I demonstrate that extraneous from using it. And uh, uh, it has to do with lost and found edges, which is critical in pastel landscape and landscape, no matter the medium, because it gives you space and added color. And uh, it's part of landscape painting, which is lost and found edges. So all of this, I hope, excites you to come join me and Linda and, uh, and, uh, and, and the Las Vegas team this October. And thank you very much. Bye -bye. Thank you so much, Albert. Thank you, Linda. Sherry says, love your trees. Uh, Wendy says, wow. Uh, thank you so much. I have a few more words because we are uh, preparing for our upcoming online show and the uh, deadline is approaching. It will be he here before you know it on May 15th. So we nearing three week window to enter this show. This is our member exhibition. So we would like to see nice uh, variety of artworks from as many as our members as possible. So if you member, if you're in good standing, if you're renewed and appreciate all our current members and all our platinum members, uh, please enter your work. It's super easy on show submit, go to your account, select our show, upload up to five works and you will be featured on our website as well as social media and in a beautiful catalog. Um, I receive many questions about upcoming show and I, I decided to answer a couple of them of what work is eligible. Uh, guys, I would not send you to read prospectus immediately, but all uh, work what created by you, 80% of soft pastel, um, any genre is eligible. This is online show, so there is no size limitation and also uh, no framing or shipping required for this show. Uh, you can have work what is not for sale uh, to be entered into this show. So uh, this is important. Not for sale work can be entered. Uh, here is Another question, what I receive very often. Uh, remember this um, winter, we had amazing show, Tonya Lane graduates, so many beautiful artworks. So here is the thing. If your work was entered into this jury exhibition, it can also be entered in a member exhibition. Subject to 
you using your own reference and obeying all other uh, rules, what it's 80% pastel and uh, what it wasn't done in a class. So if you enter some work, what was your own and everybody lose this definition loosely, um, it didn't get an award, top three awards. You still can enter this work to jury member exhibition. We always encourage you to uh, enter your newest, freshest work. But I understand there is a lot of exhibitions you want to show as many of your artwork as possible. So if you feel what you have a winner and it has been somewhere, if it's um, obeying the rules, you can enter that. Guys, I have a chat there. If you have any more questions about online show, please do not hesitate to ask and I will create a separate post or we'll answer them later. Okay? Thank you. And next is our orange exhibition. This is different. This is going to be a themed show and it's just appeared on show submit. Entry deadline is... Uh, Slightly longer, it's August 3rd, you have plenty of time. Theme is orange. Again, this is physical show, so this is different. If you enter this show, your work will get selected. You will need to ship this work to me, to Las Vegas, and hopefully you will come to the opening, attend Albert's workshop, what I'm super excited about, and our award ceremony hosted by Albert Handel, on October 5th. We will be talking more about this show slightly later in a year, but it's something to be excited and clean up your orange pastels. Thank you so much. I am done yapping. So now all eyes on Vlad and we are going to Venice. I didn't lie. So let me spotlight Vlad. Привет. Hello, hello. I'm ready. Okay. Uh, so imagine uh, you are in uh, Venice uh, on the square, on San Marco Square. Uh, uh, this uh, etude was painted uh, for five years uh, ago in, uh, in winter. Uh, so let's, let's draw. Uh, Dasha, it's okay? Yes, I can see it's fine. If you can move slightly closer, um, that would be great. Uh, like this? Yes, like this is perfect. Thank you. Um, uh, uh, we are going to work uh, uh, in three stages. Uh, the first, uh, at first, uh, we uh, work on the composition. Uh, then uh, we uh, we are going to uh, we are going to make uh, the tone sketch and uh, then the color. So let's begin. I take uh, the pencil. It's different. Um, the most uh, of the composition occupies by the wall of uh, the Cathedral of San Marco. And uh, the composition in, is, uh, consists of two parts. Две части, правильно, я говорю, Даша? 
The bigger is uh, cold and dark. It's the shadow. And uh, the light part uh, is the bell tower of San Marco. Uh, Vlad, it's, let it's... me, uh, at no secondo, let me show um, your study first. And um, right now drawing is very light. Uh, we cannot see it. Can you maybe mm -hmm. show on a image uh, what are you talking about? So I will uh, guide the cursor and um, mm -hmm. they'll show what you're talking about. So uh, uh, the, the bigger, the, the, the most part of the composition is the cathedral, the wall of the cathedral. And the main hero of our play is uh, the bell tower of San Marco. Uh, one part is uh, dark and cool, and the other is warm and light. It's, it's easy. <laughs> Uh, so that's the most that's the our most composition light, yes the most mm -hmm. light part of the composition is uh, the sky this place uh, in uh, venice they call um piazzetta dei leoncini the small square of the small lions you see the lions the small lions Thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, and you can type your questions in the chat. Um, <laughs> Joe Gray says uh, she's nearby in Vineto. We all officially jealous. <laughs> 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 I'd like to be in Veneto too now. <laughs> <laughs> if you can show us a video, so we'll just at the end maybe we will all just cry together. But all book <laughs> tickets, you know, like everybody reacts different, so. <laughs> the Gothic Tower. What is uh, I'm I'm sorry for my interruption. Is anywhere you can move closer? So I believe white tape creates contrast and it's not focusing we don't see black on gray uh no it's better it's better yes um thank you so much Uh, I move everything on left. Ah, okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
parallel lines to build the architecture. the columns the arcs and the lions They are sitting here for many centuries. Imagine how many hands touched them and how many histories they saw. Joe Gray says, uh, I wish I could sketch like that in perspective so quickly. <laughs> Thank you. The parallel lines. Sherry says, amazing how just a few lines turn into a lion. That's the fastest lion tutorial I have ever seen.
so the sketch is finished, I think, and uh, I begin to paint. Vlad, may I ask you a favor? Can you photograph this step or do you have second device what you can photograph this step from? Just a moment. Ready? Uh, Dasha, I send you later, yes? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Just so we, we have it for the history. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, I use uh, now the pastels uh, Rembrandt. I use Senelier and I use uh, Russian brand uh, Earthbury. It looks like this. Here, there. And at first, uh, Rembrandt. I like to begin with the Rembrandt uh, because uh, uh, they, they are harder and it's possible to make the good sketch. I repeat the drawing, but by the pestle. It's, uh, it's dark brown green. Uh, you see it well? Yes, thank you. May I ask why did you select a uh, darker? paper for this uh, subject? Uh, yes, uh, I select the dark paper because uh, it uh, gives me the tone, the value for the wall of the cathedral. The light I uh, make, uh, I can make uh, easier, but uh, the tone of the wall of the cathedral is uh, uh, is dark gray. Thank you so much. Makes sense. In the first layer. You're just uh, using the same color and just 
glazing over um, walls of the cathedral. Is that right? Uh, yes, uh, uh, the most important for me now is uh, tone, the value. Okay. And the architecture details. It's time for the lions. Now it's a uh, crayon of uh, Rembrandt, it's uh, gray violet. Dash, я обобщаю тень. So Vlad right now is uh, uniting shadows. I'm not sure that's yes, correct yeah, English, yes, but... Uh, I forgot the word. But I'm not sure what's exact term, but it's close enough. Uniting shadows. Yes. Connect your shadows. Uh, that's what I heard. Yes, connect. Yes. And the details. So every time you go over, you um, making sure you um, highlight, not highlight, but uh, pay attention to architecture details. So it keeps it real. Yes. Now the sky. I take uh, the crayon of uh, Rembrandt. It's, I think it's, it's the color of body, maybe light, light body, light rose, orange. The first layer for the sky is uh, warm. I like to make the pastel with many layers. Next layer will be uh, will be the other. It will be cool. Okay. In this stage, the works uh, looks uh, very contrast. And I work on the silhouette of the architecture now.
Даш, не знаю, как сказать, растушевать. А, бленд? А, бленд, yes, maybe. Are you blending with your fingers? Uh, yes, yes, uh, with my fingers. Everybody approaches blending different, and uh, that's interesting. Here is a comment in the chat. You control over pastel is masterful, Vlad. So now we have uh, the value of the sky and the value of the earth. Now we are going to find the difference between uh, the light on the bell tower and the shadow on the wall of the cathedral. Now it's uh, warm gray, crayon. By our brand Earthberry. So our background, we see through the air, through the morning air. It's light. And the foreground is uh, cool and dark. I add some cool in the sky. It's a uh, Rembrandt uh, light blue. Our main task is to get the morning sky. Finally. Let me show really quick um, 
your oil study, what you're using here. What time of year was it when you were in Venice? It was uh, Christmas. It was Christmas. It was the end of the December. So it's the frost air. It was uh, about, about zero, maybe. Uh, one or two below zero degrees. So about uh, 30 Fahrenheit, nice crisp winter in Venice. Yes. And uh, golden hour, uh, morning golden hour. Yes, yes. And it's uh, the favorite time of uh, one of my favorite poets, Joseph Brodsky. He traveled to Venice in winter, as we know. Every work is uh, the new work. And uh, I like to try something, something new. <laughs> I don't know what, what is happening now. I use yellow green for the light. Because every work is uh, every work is a challenge, and we must try something new in every work. I think. And yellow green. It's a. Uh, layer for the for the next layer I like when uh, the one layer glows uh, from under the other. And now I take uh, the rose or light terracotta crayon and make the light on the bell tower. And 
a little bit rose orange. It's Rembrandt too. Now we have uh, the light and the shadow and it's time to make uh, the shadow more gentle. I use uh, Blue gray, gray on. to paint the marble. There are many shades of uh, marble green, gray, blue, gray, rose, gray here. a little bit uh, violet gray. Me and my wife traveled many times to Venice because she's the glass artist and she studied 
the glass art in Venice. And that's why I like San Marco Cathedral so much. We have friends in Venice, they are glass artists. Uh, this one from my wife. Dasha, I can answer the questions if we have them. Yes, I have a big question. Um, let me let me read it to you. It's about plein air from Yekaterina. Dun, dun, dun. Hi Vlad, uh, can you talk a little about doing plein air with pastels? How big of a kit do you bring uh, with you and how quickly do you paint to adjust for ever-changing light? Uh, I have I have big experience uh, on plein air painting and uh, at first I used uh, the oil in plein air. So it uh, studied me to paint faster. So I, I'm, I tried to draw in pastel fast too. I have uh Skit. Uh, uh, set. <laughs> set. Uh, uh, I have yes, I have uh, I have a small set for the first uh, etudes and I have the bigger set uh, for the uh, for the long work how many and, uh, uh, how many pastels in a smaller set uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Uh, 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 Ballpark, uh, just. About, about maybe uh, 25, 30. Yeah, that's very portable. And uh, when you paint uh, the early morning, like uh, here or evening, uh, you you must work very fast and uh, you must catch you must catch uh, the main things light and shadow Don't see on the details when you uh, when you don't look for the details when you uh, work uh, first. Yeah, понятно выразился. Yes, it makes perfect sense. So just uh, focus on a big. Uh, uh, on big uh, areas of uh, light yes, and yes. shadow and yes. uh, not so much on the details. And while you're saying that you're drawing this perfect architecture uh, thing, so that's, that makes to uh, total sense and draw there. <laughs> like, do not focus on the details. And here's a cathedral, <laughs> Gothic cathedral in front of us. Uh, I think it's uh, my experience that allows me to make the architecture. I know one life hack what uh, Albert is teaching about architecture, but I'm going to save it for his workshop. So what is your life hack? Uh, for architecture, like what's the most important thing when you're approaching uh, cathedral? Mm. Mm. I said the parallel lines, you see. Like this. one under under the other and the sketch will be a truth parallel lines and parallel lines too just kidding Yes. And the details, uh, one opposite another. You see, one, two, one, two, one, two. So look for repetition and similarity as well. Yes, yes. You know, you're doing almost a portrait of this cathedral because you're not drawing just like one tower, you're using the uh, both sides. And if you yes. put a line on one side, you're finding uh, it a repetition somewhere. So it comes together unified.
Now I make the different uh, shades of marble. Some violet, rose, green, brown. the gold mosaic in the arc. It's Senelia crayons. And the architecture details on the Campanile San Marco, on the bell tower of San Marco. fingerprints on the sky.
more light. Now I look for the bright light. If uh, you made the bright light, you can make the light shadow light and many colored shadows. Multicolored shadow. Sherry says, uh, this glow is beautiful. Thank you. Now the gold details. The wings of the angels.
gold wing, wings of the angels. And now the lions. They are made of red marble. And I use the brown red crayon by Rembrandt. And the reflections on the Lions they are cold, cold reflections. Now in my head is uh, the song by Mark Knopfler, The Lions. It's about the monuments, the different monuments of the lions. His very old song. And I very like his other song that dedicates to Nevada, the sense of Nevada. Did you say it's Mark Evans? Mark Knopfler. Mark Knopfler, okay. Yes, the sense of Nevada.
Now I make the lines slowly. Because they are too, too, too bright, too bright, too dark and too bright. I don't make the gloves like uh, on my etude because they are forbidden now in Venice, you know. <laughs> the gloves. Laurie says, uh, this is even more beautiful than your reference. Thank you. I tried. And I make the seagulls. Flying. So, dear friends, this is our short travel to Venice. Thank you so much, Vlad. This is amazing. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody.
who traveled with me today. <laughs> Bravo. I think I'm finishing. And the important detail, my signature. is gorgeous. What our chat is exploding. Incredible by Mary. I'm at loss of words thank you so much for your demo just beautiful perfect thank you very Darlene much says, thrilling very to watch your work so beautiful Darlene thank you so much for being amazing co-host Kathy stunning wonderful beautiful just amazing did I miss the size of the paper uh, paper was uh, pastel matte, uh, 15 and a half by 12, anthracite. Uh, incredible artist. Thank you so much. Thank you, Katusha. Yeah, thank, you, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm very glad I, to meet you. I, nice to meet you. Thank you, Vlad, for taking us to Venice. So now we know perfect time to go. It's a cold winter morning and... Uh, <laughs> Meet you by the lions, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Let me, um, Vlad, I will ask you to take a picture of yes. uh, your finish yes. them and uh, your steps and whenever you can send it to me. That's awesome. And uh, just a quick recap of today, guys. Uh, I just realized there is a little over two weeks to enter our online member show. So please do not wait till the last moment because there is internet problems, technical problems, anything else it's better to do to give you yourself some room. Okay, if you have any questions, you know where to find me. Uh, I hope you will enter it. Um, it's on show submit. I also put link in the chat. Um, Amazing jurors, judges, $1,000 best in show and other amazing prizes. Okay, so this is by um, May 15th. No framing, no shipping required. Great opportunity. Second one, orange show. It's just went live on show submit. You can read prospectus. Amazing opportunity to exhibit your work in Las Vegas, Nevada in an art district. Amazing gallery partner, Priscilla Favler. I'll show you a gallery a little bit later. And exclusive opportunity to study with a legend, Albert Handel, in October. He will be teaching three-day workshop, open all his secret in person. You can actually uh, watch master to work and on october 5th we will have our award ceremony uh thank you so much for all joining us thank you vlad for being with us today thank, uh, thank to you and thank you everybody bye bye have a nice day thanks so much enjoy thank your you. saturday thank you guys thank you thank you very much Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.